Hi, uh, my name is Carl Bardmos. I hope you know that since that's the name of my channel. And today is going to be a bit different. So you might see that one, um, the setting is a bit different. That's because this was actually staged. I actually put up a camera so my face looks in focus and everything. Um, the, and secondly, my face is much clearer. That's because I finally got a new camera. Or, not new, just got a camera that actually takes videos and I'm really excited about it, it's really cool. Um, so the format of today's video is going to be a bit different. So there isn't any recorded video, that's because I would have died if I screen recorded what I actually did. Um, I already struggled working on Photoshop with the screen recording. I don't know how I would have made it through Premiere Pro and After Effects while screen recording. So today's video is primarily going to be about how I, you know, about the pre-production, well, no, sorry, the post-production, how I put every, how I had, how I fitted everything together to make a nice video. So you won't be seeing my face the entire time. Um, yeah, you'll be very happy to hear that. Um, I'm just going to use uh, screenshots just to talk you through everything and show you why I did what. Hope you enjoy it. As you might have known, my video is divided into three parts. The first part is formed of my puppet. The second part is formed of shadow puppetry, and then it takes back to um, formed of my puppet, but more, a little bit more VFX than uh, puppetry. So I decided to break it up into those three parts while editing to make it a bit easier on myself and my computer. The first part is on your screen right now. Um, it's the puppet that I filmed. So when looking at the layers, we're going to look at the video layers. The audio layers doesn't really ma matter. You'll see that in the final product. So the first layer is a background. This is a moving background. Um, in my previous video, you saw me draw the trees and the landscape. Then I also drew the clouds. Um, so I just put in the clouds moving onto After Effects, rendered it, and just brought the video into Premiere Pro. The next layer um, is nothing. It's actually, yeah, it's invisible. I think I just cut something out and just, yeah, I didn't like it, so I just made it invisible. Um, the second layer is a uh, wriggle bird. This is pink. You might uh, wonder why. So it's it's pink because it is a dynamic link. That means I made it in After Effects, but I didn't render it because I still wanted a transparent background. I put a mask over the little birds and then I used the puppet pin tools to make it wiggle up and down um, so you can, it looks like these birds are really naughty and uh, they're going to do something to you. Um, the next layer will be Ollie himself. There are a few cuts um, in this layer because uh, initially I filmed too long so I had to cut short to make it um, everything within a minute. And the last layer is divided into two. The first half is the blinds opening. And the second half is the last frame of the blinds opening that I just copied and just dragged out to make it the entire length of the video so that everything runs smooth and it doesn't look weird at all. The next part that we'll be looking at is the shadow puppetry. So this is a lot of masking. So the first thing I made was the puppets that's coming into frame, the two little men. Um, then they move and then I stop them. It's just the frame that I, um, I just uh, freeze framed it and drag it out and then I made a mask around it so it stays in place and then I took some other footage of a feather and an egg coming into frame and I just put that underneath these puppets um, so it looks smooth because I don't have four arms I only have two, so I had to mask to make everything seem seamless. And I I filmed it that they, the egg and the puppet would 
become on this we come in on the side so it doesn't look weird and the last layer is again the same frame that I dragged out in the previous um, part of the film so it, it, the transition is seamless and it looks perfect it doesn't look weird or anything and now let's look at the last half the bottom layer is yet again the background it's a long vertical drawing that I made that starts at the savannah and goes up into space I had a nice space brush to make stars the second layer is of Ollie. As you go on in the scene, the spaceship zooms in and you can see Ollie behind the glass. He only comes in later because he isn't actually visible in any of the parts of the scene. The third and fourth layer combine to make the spaceship. So the this third layer is the spaceship and the second layer is the middle glass or the middle window of the spaceship. As it zooms in, the middle window becomes more transparent, showing Ollie behind it. And the fourth layer is yet again the drapes. And it's the same frame that's used in the first and the second part. And the last little piece is the curtains closing. That's simply the first curtains opening at the beginning, just um, reversed. So it looks nice. Now the fourth piece that I'll be showing you is how I cut everything to make, together to make the final film. For this part I simply took the first three videos that I rendered separately and I put them together in a Premiere Pro profile. So to make a nice flowing video I made color changes and I made a vignette which is simply putting a a mask over everything, a black, black mask, then inverting it so the corners are pitch black and then just feathering it to make it uh, a nice gradient from black into the normal color just to show, just to make like a spotlight effect on the middle and then underneath everything there's a whole bunch of sound effects to pull everything together. I hope you enjoyed this style of video making and that I'll see you next week with not only a reflection on my work, but also the final product. Thank you very much and I hope you have a lovely day.